Good morning and welcome to my kitchen. Today is a taco soup day. Well, I know you're thinking, I know how to make taco soup. I am not going to watch that video. I'll turn somewhere else and watch someone else's or I'll go do something else. Well, hang on just a minute and let's talk about it. I know that you probably do know how to make taco soup as I do. But let me tell you, sometimes if you're like me, you just forget or cannot think about what you want to cook. We have so many meals to prepare during the course of a week, a month, a year, that sometimes we just run up against a brick wall and we'll think, what in the world am I going to cook? And so what I want you to do, I want you to let this video serve as a reminder that this is a menu that you can cook that you can share and go ahead and share it with some of your friends because they may feel the same way. Well, what am I going to cook today? Or what am I going to serve my family? And taco soup is a wonderful one dish meal to serve your family or to just eat yourself and enjoy. So let's get started. Let's make this taco soup and you go ahead and hit that like button and that share button and let's get going. I'm starting out today um, by using a pound or just a fraction over a pound of ground beef. Now, some people don't put ground beef in theirs, but I do like that. And so I'll take this over to the stove and I'll put it in this saucepan that I have here and I'll brown it. And if it has excess fat, then I'll drain that off before we mix the other ingredients. There's nothing that's not healthy about this taco soup. To the um, browned beef, I'm going to add just a packet, a one ounce packet of taco seasoning, and I'm using the original today. It comes in uh, different um, um, flavors or mild or hot, but I'm just using the original. And to that, I'm going to add a one ounce package of ranch um, dressing. This is just a seasoning. Now, let me stop here and say that I'm not going to add salt to my taco soup because these two packets right here, they contain a good bit of sodium. And if someone wants salt when they go to eat their soup, well, they can just add it. I'm going to use two cans of stewed tomatoes. You can use diced tomatoes, you can use crushed tomatoes, whatever you like, but I'm using stewed tomatoes today. And this is a 14 and a half ounce can of stewed tomatoes and I'm using two cans. I'm also using a 10 ounce can of Rotel tomatoes. Now this is what's going to kick it up a notch and make it a little hot and spicy for you, which is wonderful. I'm using the mild because we do better with that, but you can also use the hot or whatever seasoning you want to use, the hot or the mild. And then I'm going to add some dark red kidney beans and this is a 27 ounce of dark red kidney beans. Last, I'm going to add a can of whole kernel corn, and this is a 15 and 15.25 uh, ounce of corn. So let's get started. I'm going to go into uh, prepare this. I'm going to open the cans, and we'll come back and we'll put it all together, and then um, I'll show you how it's going to look and how it's going to taste. And I hope that you will share this video and let someone else have the idea or be reminded that they can make taco soup too. We are now ready to put our soup together. I browned the ground beef and I did drain it. I ran it through a colander or poured it through a colander and let the excess fat um, drain out. And so now we have a pound of ground browned beef. To that, I'm going to add my seasoning. The first thing that I'm going to do is to add the taco seasoning. Now normally, I would probably just add this over at the stove when I'm after I get through browning it, but I did want to drain it today. I felt like I needed to. It had a little bit more um, fat in it than that I wanted it to have so that it would be really, really healthy. So now I've added our seasoning, the taco mix and the ranch dressing mix. Just stir that around. Next, I'm going to add our tomatoes. And again, I'm using um, the stewed tomatoes. You can use any kind of tomatoes that you want. They can be diced, they can be crushed whatever you like. But these will cook down and the, these tomatoes will break down as the soup cooks. So that's what I'm using today. 
And now I'm going to add the Rotel tomatoes. And this is what gives it that little kick that we all love and enjoy. I'm just gonna stir that around. This is looking like taco soup. And next, I'm gonna add the dark red kidney beans. Now, you know how the um, juice will kinda settle on the top of the can? Um, so I drained that off, but I didn't completely drain it um, all the juice off of the beans, but I did uh, drain the excess that had settled on the top of, of the kidney beans. So there you have that. And last, I'm just going to add the corn. See how quick and easy this is? Oh my goodness. Look at this taco soup. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm just laughing to myself because I know I love it so much. So now I'm going to put this back on the stove. I'm going to bring it to a boil and I'm going to let it, um, then I'm going to turn it down and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. And also, if you don't have enough juice, if you want it a little bit juicier, you can just add some tomato juice or you can mix up some tomato paste. If you don't have tomato juice, you can mix up some tomato paste in some water and add that. But I'm going to put this on the stove. I'm going to bring it to a boil. I'm going to let it simmer and then our taco soup will be ready. Our taco soup is simmering and looking so, so good. I'm just going to stir it around a little bit so that it won't stick on the bottom. Just have to keep it stirred a little bit so it won't be long now before it's ready to eat. Okay, friends, there you have it, a complete meal in one pot. I hope that you will make some taco soup really soon. I hope that you'll share it with a friend, that you'll tag a friend and say, you know, I didn't know what I was going to cook the other day, but I saw Joyce Halstead on Home of the Halsteads and she was making taco soup. You may want to make some taco soup. So anyway, have a great day. Be blessed and I'll talk to you really, really soon.